Hey, it is I, Jay, and today we're pretty much going to be giving my fake Skylar a little makeover, and you might be asking yourself, well, why? Honestly, I feel bad for her, and you know, I did spend $40 on her, so like, I want her to look presentable, I guess you can say. But of course, in this video, I'm going to be bringing out my inner Sid, I mean, I already have the buzz cut going on, but like, there's some things I did to her that are not just about her hair, I guess you can say, but like, yeah guys, let me just roll this intro, and we can get into this video, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, so here is our fake Rainbow High doll. Of course, she's supposed to be emulating Skylar, as she should. She's a cosplayer. As I mentioned in this doll's review, her hair feels like a Party City wig, and of course, I've never dealt with that. So, um, this is going to be a very interesting wash cycle. So, to start the makeover, we need to take off her outfit. I was struggling to take off the beautiful bag. And for the people who are weirded out by nudity, yes, I'm holding her boobs. Ashamed of yourself. So the first thing we're going to need is some dish soap. This doll is dirty. I mean, she came from a factory and this dish soap is going to do wonders to her. The next thing I'm going to need is a I toothbrush. This should give Tana Mojo some good memories. And I'm just going to use this to wash her face and body and all that jazz. The next thing I need is my conditioner. This is going to add some moisture to her wig because it is super dry. And of course, we're going to need a detangler because, I mean, duh, it's magic. Uh, uh, but, yeah. Now that we know our materials, it's time to tame this hair. I'll see you at the sink. <laughs> Now that we're at the sink, we can wash Setla's wig, and I really don't know what to expect from this experience, so, um, I just put the water on warm, and I just dunked her head in, like, normal. I'm just praying right now. Also, pro tip, I did put glue in her head so her hair does not fall out, so purr to that. Now that this skinny legend is all wet, it's time to put some dish soap in her hair and just wash out the factory juices and all that because I can't tell you how dirty her hair felt after like unboxing her. And you know, are we surprised? Are we really surprised? Before rinsing her out, I had to take a picture of her because she needed to be added to the collage. But after I did rinse her out with some warm water and she just started feeling a lot better, guys. Now that this icon is all clean, we're going to add some moisture into her wig by adding our conditioner. And don't worry, guys, this time I made sure to aim for the hair and not her face. I'm a good boy, trust me. And for her hair, I did put a generous amount of conditioner on it because I really didn't know how dry it was going to be after I rinsed it out. And then it was time for my favorite part of every hair tutorial. It's the brush out. And she actually had a really easy brush out because she didn't really have too much tangles, surprisingly. Like, my AliExpress Rainbow High Dolls had more tangles than she did. And now that she is all conditioned up, it is time to rinse out her wig. And we're just going to be using more warm water. Now that it did add glue in her head, it did help her hair from shedding, thank God. And yeah. I'm super happy no hair shed it as bad as a normal Rainbow High doll does sometimes, so prior to that. But let's have a little chat, shall we? A little girl chat moment on the Zombie X Corn channel. So as you guys may or may not know, I opened a P.O. Box because, you know, my mail is being stolen. And I kind of just want to do like a once a month kind of P.O. Box opening thing. So if you guys ever want to send me letters or art or anything other, you can do so. You're not obligated to, of course. Yeah, I think it would just be so fun. So it's going to be in my description and my channel bio. So yeah. Now, typically the next step would be boil washing, but I don't know what kind of fiber this is, love. So I decided I'm just going to let her hair dry overnight and see how it ends up. Yeah, guys, I guess you'll see her in the next day, which is going to be like, you know, a second. So yeah. So here is Setla after her hair has dried for a whole day. It's nice and soft, but this was the moment my inner Sid came out and I decided to do something ungodly. Let me introduce you to my first Stella. Yes, I tried giving her bangs and yeah, she's just a mess. She was always a mess and she's never not going to be a mess, you know? And along with the head comes a body. You know, you know the drill. This was my first attempt at neck articulation, so I was thinking. <laughs> I noticed that her head matched her body, and you know what? I decided to give her a rainbow high body, you know, because why not? And because people asked if the eyes are compatible, I will be doing a eye swap with Miss Setla. So first things first, we need to take off Miss Setla's head, and it was actually quite easy because, you know, it's a fake doll. And now the moment of truth. Will it fit? Don't take that out of context. And to my surprise, it fit pretty well. And it actually, it looks a lot more proportional to her body compared to a normal Rainbow High doll head. So, work Miss Sutla. 
So now it's time for the eye swap portion of this video. So I just squished her head because her head is actually squishy and the eye just comes out like so. And for whatever reason, they painted the inside of the eye socket black. We love a little Halloween queen. And yeah, here's the eye, just in case you were very curious. Now to get Stella's eyes out, we actually do need to boil some water because I have plans for this head later on. I'm just not caring about the hair at this point. And after maybe like, what, 30 seconds, I just took her head out of the water. And now it was time to, to pop her eyeballs out. Everyone's favorite part of these kind of videos. Um, The first one did not fly like I thought it would. But mama, the second one, ooh, yes. And now that I've harvested the eyes, it's time to bring out Miss Setla. And we're going to try putting in one of these rainbow high eyes. Now, just from this site alone, I feel like it's not going to fit in. Spoiler. It didn't. I even tried boiling her face for a few seconds and it still did not want to budge into her eye socket. So I just ended up boil washing her hair because we needed to do it anyways. So I ended up just putting her eye back in and her hair was feeling a lot nicer actually after the boil wash. It kind of like gagged me a little bit. And after I let her hair dry overnight, it was super soft and super bouncy. Like, look at that. It's actually kind of reminding me of my good Skylar's hair. And I'm kind of shocked by that. So we went to the house and I wanted to dress her in my basic Skylar's first alpha because she is a clone of that. I mean, it is almost Halloween and we need another Skylar in the world. So I'm going to go put her in this alpha and show you what she looks like. So BRB. So like, I'm not mad at it. It's very different from what she originally came in, of course. And her hands are behind her back because she has no hands. I can't keep my hands to myself. So now we go to the styling portion of this video. I did procrastinate just a little bit, just a little bit, guys. But I asked you guys on Instagram if she should have an Ariani or if she should just have curls. And it was kind of like an even Steven. So she's probably going to have both. Yeah. Okay, guys, so her hair is finally styled. It took me a minute, but I gave her the half up. I mean, it's more of just a ponytail, <laughs> let's be real. But the hair really did not want to lay down too nicely, but after I made it lay down, it looked super cunt, and she is serving, she is doing what she had to do. I did give her the um, fakies hands. They actually surprisingly fit in the rainbow high arms, plus they just look more dainty. I love that about that. But yeah, guys, Setla has a new wig. She's looking very cunt. She's serving Ariani. She's serving Arianka. And honestly, I'm very happy of how she turned out. And I'm actually considering putting her with the real Rainbow High doll because, you know, she's kind of there. She's like 90% real. But yeah, guys, if you like today's little makeover, make sure you leave a big thumbs up down below and comment what you think of Miss Setla's new do. And sorry, it's been a lack of hair videos lately. I don't know. I've been going through it. Mercury is in retrograde, I think, or some shit like that. And yeah, it's been making me like woof. but yeah guys if you are new to my channel hi my name is jay and i do doll stuff duh and i would love you to join and this is like one of our signature you know no quality no lights kind of outros so yeah and if you aren't following me on instagram or tiktok it is at zombie x corn and guys i will see you in the next video because i have another hair video coming up very very soon and it involves a very big doll and you know you probably know who it is let's be real <laughs> okay guys i will see you in the next video bye for now